I'm going to be pricking out some basil seedlings today. So these ones uh, were multi-sown on the 9th of April. Um, it's now the 20th of April or the 23rd of April. So um, a few weeks on, they've been in the greenhouse and they are quite stacked together. So when you multi-sow something like that, you just scatter sow the seeds over the top and then they germinate in a big group like this, but they can't obviously grow on like this. So I'm going to um, prick them out, which means separating them out individually into one of these. Um, you can use small pots or um, a different type of module tray, but this one is a CD60 um, and you can get them from a couple of companies I've bought from container wise and also from the refill room and you can get them from Charles Dowding, I think directly. Uh, the CD stands for Charles Dowding. This is a 60 cell one. And um, once I've sewn them individually into here, they'll then stay in these modules until they're ready to plant out. First things first, just need to fill this with some compost. This is some organic peat free um, compost from a company called Class Delaman. Um, I really like using their products. So just, I always, oops, sorry about that, I always pre-water. Um, so before I do that, I just like to press it down because you'll be surprised at how far the compost can press down. You can see the dips I'm making and then I'll top it up. It just generally makes sure that the compost isn't too, um, hasn't got too many air holes in essentially. So I'm gonna water now and then um, top it up afterwards. Okay, so that's been watered and refilled. Get your pot of seedlings. And really, you're just going to tip these out and just separate them all out. Don't worry about them too much. They're quite robust, but just obviously hand them with a bit of care. So if I break them apart, I'll just do that on one side of the tray. I've got some classic uh, Italian basil and some um, Thai basil. So I'm going to do half and half. So kind of just squish them out so they kind of fall all over the place. So you can prick out using all sorts of things. I like to use this which is a coffee stirrer and um, so what we're going to do we're going to take any seedling to just pick up a healthy one. Hopefully you can see that. Just get it by its two leaves and just hold it there. You can see the root hanging down. You're just holding it. No damage to the root at all. So I'm just showing you this one because I can't get the other ones in the view of the camera. Right, so poke a hole with your um, coffee stair or whatever you've got and just gently tease the root down. You can be quite firm. And then once you've reached the first two leaves, just press it down and around. So there we go. That's the tray all pricked out. Now, um, Basil seedlings need to keep warm, so don't put them outside. Uh, make sure they're nice and toasty by keeping them either on a windowsill or in a greenhouse like I am. Um, now this module tray needs to sit on a gravel tray, which is, oops, let's get that out of the way, like this. this. It's just a container that can hold water. And at the bottom, I've got some capillary matting and the capillary matting will um, enable me to just water from the bottom capillary matting soaks all the water up and then by placing that on the top the seedlings grow their roots down and suck up the water from the bottom and then they'll stay in these modules now um, probably for another month before I plant them out and um, I plant them out in the greenhouse but you can plant them out in pots or in the ground but just make sure it's frost free and it's warm enough to do that thanks for watching